Today I am looking for a tree. I know that might sound pretty stupid considering what I'm surrounded by, but it's not just any old tree uh, that I'm looking for, it's this tree. And apparently it's pretty tricky to find. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I am a man on a mission. I am looking for a tree that has been bugging me for a little while now. It's in one of my favourite autumn uh, photography locations, but I have yet to catch a glimpse of it or even a hint of where it is. So today I am in search of that tree and I am not going to give up until I find it or it gets dark. You might ask yourself why I'm obsessed with this tree. Firstly, I think curiosity to be honest, I just want to see what it looks like in real life. But also, I've kind of recently decided to set myself a little bit of a photography project uh, to try and improve aspects of my uh, woodland photography. This all started really because of one photo, uh, this photo. So basically the photography project is trying to find trees like the one I've just shown you uh, that fill the frame, they've got character, uh, they're imposing in the picture and I really only want to focus on me, uh, one tree, maybe two uh, trees at a time. So this is why I'm searching uh, for this particular tree today. I want to have a look what it looks like. It might not be one that photographs well, but if I can find it, then I can either rule it out or uh, also just enjoy seeing what it looks like in real life and satisfying my curiosity. So anyway, I'm going to get on, otherwise uh, I won't find it. left my bag behind. So while I'm out on today's mission, I just thought I'd share with you a couple of the sites I use to find these spectacular trees. Um, just in case you wanted to start a project like this for yourself, or if you're just curious about uh, if you've got any huge trees uh, nearby to your home or something. So the first one I use is called monumentaltrees.com. This is a global database of over 52,000 trees updated frequently by members of its community. You have the option to search through lists such as countries and tree species, or you can view the world map and find trees that way. The majority of the trees have photos, size measurements and GPS coordinates that you can download. And for people in the UK, uh, the Woodland Trust have uh, a site uh, which I found incredibly useful uh, for this sort of thing. And it's uh, the site that I've used uh, to try and locate today's tree. It's called the Ancient Tree Inventory and has over 160,000 of the UK's ancient, veteran and notable trees listed. You can search using a detailed map or via a list option using the filters to narrow down your search as needed. Each tree listing provides information about the tree, a grid reference and whether the tree is accessible to the public or not. So definitely go and check those sites out if you're interested in photographing trees or you're just curious about the trees in your local area. They're definitely well, well worth a visit. Anyway. On with today's tree hunt. I'm not sure where I am. 
Right, I'm probably going to need to stop in a minute, have a look at the map before I walk too far out in the wrong direction. So I am here at the moment and this is where the big tree is. So I, I need to get there somehow, which is kind of up that way or I'm going to go down first. So I kind of want to be official about this and follow a, a path um, or some sort of like route up there rather than just bushwhack. But I can't really see anyone anywhere yet uh, to get up there. I'm going to go down a little bit and just see if I can find uh, a route up because it doesn't look very accessible at the moment. Oh. Ouch. Help! I can't even grip this bramble, it's so bloody sharp. I don't know how to get past this one. It's gonna catch on my thing anyway. This looks like a path in the general direction of the big beech tree. It's just, I struggle. I'm hoping this goes to the tree because I don't want to have to come up here and then not find it. Oh, I'm caught again. And then walk back down again. We will find it. Okay. I'm going to carry on without filming for a few moments. Just behind all of those fir trees, just in the background, which I don't know if you'll be able to make out, there is a couple of beech trees uh, looking quite nice. I don't think it's the one, but I was a bit worried that I might not actually find it today because uh, that would have been ridiculous based a whole vlog around finding a tree that I never find. And I was worried that I'd run out of time as well. I might still run out of time. I don't know if I'm near. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm near. Um, I'm getting to the top of the hill that it's supposed to be on. So uh, I'm going to continue up and see if I can find it. I'm made up, I've found, I've found the tree. I don't even really care about photographing it, to be honest. I've just found it. And that's what's like the fun of these tree hunts. It's just, it's like uh, finding a needle in a haystack, uh, for some of them anyway. Some of them are a little bit easier. Um, they're just off, like, off the side of a path or something like that. But uh, this one is a proper hunt. So, uh, I am going to go and try and take a photograph now. I might as well, I've got a little bit of time. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is actually. So I've got an hour before sunset. I really either want to find another path down or set off if I have to go down that stupid trail again. I want to set off in the light at least. Anyway, going to go and try and set up a photo. Okay, I'm just going for the initial 
wide shot with a bit of the autumn colour in it. Nothing particularly special about this one. I've just put the tree uh, in the middle of the frame basically and a little bit of the autumn colour off to the left. Okay, just moved around a little bit. The backdrop behind the tree here is a little bit less sky, a little bit darker. I'm not gonna be able to avoid having sky in today, I don't think. All the trees surrounding it are like sort of giving it room to breathe, uh, which is helpful in a way. It makes it very easy to move around the tree and take photos, but also leaves a little bit of open sky. But today, you know, I don't care about the photos. Today is about finding the tree and I've achieved that. As far as I'm concerned, it's a success today, no matter what type of photos I get. But yeah, that's, I think that's number two done. Uh, I might try one more and then I'm gonna try and find a way down uh, that's not gonna add cuts to my cuts. Okay, my last photo of the day is basically just the trunk. Uh, of the tree which is obviously spectacular as you can see. I've come around to a position uh, now where the back there's hardly any sky in the background. Uh, obviously I'm quite tight to the trunk here I'm using a wide angle lens for it. It's starting to get pretty dark I'm actually having to up my ISO quite a bit because there's a couple of ferns that are flapping around. Okay I think this one's quite nice this one might be my favorite of the day because it's still got a little bit of the autumn colour in the background as well and obviously the uh, fallen leaves on the ground and also takes in like the best feature of the tree which is the, the the trunk i'll put that one up on the screen for you as well now okay i think i'm gonna end the vlog there uh, hopefully you've in, enjoyed it hopefully that uh, this is something that you might find interesting in doing it's it's a hell of a lot of fun trying to find the trees it's it's almost like a treasure hunt so it's worth doing just for the enjoyment of being out but hopefully the uh, websites that i've mentioned will help you if you do want to start uh, having a look around for these epic trees so for today i am going to try and find my way back down um, if you never see me again, then I failed, but hopefully I won't. Uh, if you've enjoyed the vlog, then please uh, think about subscribing to the channel. Uh, give the video a like as well. It really helps. But for now, I am going to say goodbye and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.